Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Autonotom. And I have been busy between episodes. I'm still in my base. I haven't gone anywhere. Um, let's just go back upstairs for a second. See, I'm still here in my base. I've put down a new, uh, another brick, nether brick fence, and I've gone downstairs and. I've gone downstairs because I've put in the brine, was it brine? I'd forgotten the name of the quest. Brine production. So I made the thermal evaporation chamber. And you need one, um, one controller, two evaporation valves and 64 evaporation blocks and four solar generators. And that gives you enough to build a basic um, evaporator. Evaporator? Thermal eva evaporation chamber. If we go upstairs, I haven't put a top on it. I'm pretty sure you should, but I haven't. But it's working, so I'm not knocking it. But basically, you build a 4x4 four four, um, four four square at the bottom. Can we see down? You can't really see down as such. Yeah. But there is the water inside. And then you build it up four by four. Then when you get to the top of what you're building, you can build it up to 18 by 18. When you get up to the top level, you leave out the corners and then just put the two in the middle, so it's like that. And like I said, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put a top on it, but it's working, so maybe you're not supposed to put a top on it. And then you put the solar generators in the four corners, so that, you know, it looks like this. Actually, yeah. And then, oh, I can't jump onto it. And then when it's done, it will have um this is the top of the other machine the dynamic tank but when it's done um you'll get particle effects it will get red particle effects and you know it's done correctly and then um you can put the evaporation controller anywhere apart from the corners you can't put it in the corners but you can put it anywhere on the front um the tutorial i was saying i was seeing said that you can put it in the top but um, it's showing me the height is four. It's that's the base one two. That is four. One two three four. I'm not sure how it how it how it reaches that conclusion. To be honest, I really don't know. But it will show you how hot it is. Um, this is where you input your stuff. This is the output. Um, it shows you that it's formed and it gives you the temperature. Now, you put in a electric pump on the side. And then you put water under the electric pump so it has water going in. You give it some, um, some power. And then you put the basic mechanical, well, a mechanical pipe on top. And then you configure the pipe using the configurator. And what I discovered is that if you scroll, scroll, shift, shift, scroll. Yeah, shift, scroll. It changes what it does. So you can configurate, I think, it says gases. That must be a gas cable um fluids that will be for if you've got fluid cables like this and what's the next one item so that's if you had some kind of conduit and then a wrench you must be able to use it to, you can use that to rotate things although i was trying to use it to rotate the um the electric pump and it would either rotate towards the um the thermal evaporation chamber or this side that has the the lever or this side towards the wall and it wouldn't rotate towards this side even when there was nothing there it's, when there was cable there it still wouldn't rotate i don't know why it wouldn't come this way but um but yes it rotated so i did it the best that i could 
I was just about to say, where's the power? But then I've forgotten it's night time, so there is no power. So it's not working. Um, then, once it's working, you will see this buffer will fill up. And this buffer will fill up. You can put... What's this? Oh, dissipated. Okay. You can put um, fluid tanks in the top to collect it when this buffer fills up if you wanted to or you can build the next thing that was on this was one of the quests the ultimate fluid chamber and what you do with that you build a dynamic tank you need two um dynamic valves dynamic uh tank blocks and then you can use structural glass block blocks to fill it up so i did structural glass on the sides so I can see into the tank but you need to make sure that the corners and the base and the top are all dynamic tanks and once you've put it together correctly again you get the particle effect and then if you right click on any of the tank blocks it will tell you what's in there the volume 54 is that 54 blocks I don't know to be honest and then it will tell you what's in there and how much is in there. So we have two, 248,888 millibuckets of brine. And um, so yeah, so when it's daylight again, it will start working, obviously. If we'd hooked this up to um, a solar generator, then obviously it would work all the time. We don't need it to work all the time. It's fine how it is. But this dynamic tank is pretty cool, I have to admit. Um, so that's some of the things that I did. And what was the other thing that I did? Um, I made the, uh, the exchanges. It was very, very grindy. Uh, let's uh, back. Oh, pressing the wrong key. That's why it wouldn't go back. Uh, exchanges okay basic exchanger you need the exchanger core which gets progressively progress yeah progressively um more expensive so the basic the tier one core is just enriched alloy osmium and steel the tier two is that is two tier one cores plus in reinforced alloy, glowstone, ingots, and diamond dust. And then uh, the elite chambers, chambers, exchanges, sorry, use um, tier three cores, which is four tier, four tier twos and refined obsidian dust plus atomic alloy. And then the ultimate exchanges is a tier five, which is four tier four tier no four tier twos. That's tier three, ultimate. Is that what I was doing? I don't know. One, two, three, four. Oh, that uses a tier three. It doesn't use a tier four, but it uses a portable teleporter, which is a teleportation core. Which is atomic alloy and lapis, gold, a diamond. So as you can see, it just uses a lot of the alloys, which was really annoying. So it was just making lots of those. And um, so each exchange, it's like the exchanges we made some episodes back, the mechanism ones. It's like those mechanism. Sorry, the ones that came with. It's an add on to immersive engineering that's the word that I wanted so um, I haven't really used it yet so I don't know let's have a look LV exchanger what did I do with the other exchanger because that's the old oh did I put it to charge I don't think I ever took it out there you go okay so if we shift one by one if you press C no C is to zoom in I don't know what that's on V excavate no that's for um, ore excavation 
comma oh it's a comma that changes the the x exchange shape so in the middle of my screen by the cross here you can see the exchange shape so you got one by one three by three it's five by five seven by seven nine by nine eleven by eleven thirteen by thirteen or fifteen by fifteen and i think if you no, if you shift right click a bot no how do you do it i can't remember I can't remember, but I don't really use them, so I don't know. Oh, if you shift. Okay. So if I shift right click this, it's now. But it can't turn all of these blocks into. All right, what's so what's going to happen? out of block okay so if I shift right click that's the block it will take and if I right click that's what that's the block it will replace but because I have no glowstone the glowstone blocks in my inventory it's not going to change it right so if I shift right click on the cobblestone and then go over here to the dirt and right click it will change it to cobblestone because i have cobblestone in my inventory you need to have cobblestone in your inventory or whatever block you're changing it to you need to have it in your inventory okay so that's how they work which is pretty much how the other ones worked but i don't use them often enough to remember how to use them so that was a bit of a crash course and um, anything else i don't think there was anything else Those are the things that I did. I need to get take the rewards for them. Okay, so the basic exchanger, let's claim a loot chest. Um that one, claim another loot chest. Uh the armor, oh we would keep in that till whenever. Mechanical fluid storage. You only had to make 25 that was enough to make the the basic one i think three by three by three yeah there you go three by three by three with two valves so i went and made more dynamic tanks in order to make a bigger tank but um the dynamic tank blocks itself you get four per and it is also um it is quite cheap to make it's not too expensive Okay. All right, for the brine production, it said the solar the advanced solar generators on top will passively heat the plant, but you can increase the heat generation as well as keep it hot at night by pumping in heat from the res resistive heater which converts RF power to heat or the fuel wood heater which can which burns fuel to produce heat through a valve okay and um, i guess we could get the resistive heater oh and we also get eight thermodynamic conductors advanced thermodynamic conductors i have no idea what they do i have no idea what they do but that's fine so that was everything that I got up to between episodes. So um, we need to go to quadruple ingots. Now that we have brine, we can start adding our, quad, our triple ingot production, adding onto our triple ingot production to do quadruple ingot production. First, we need an electrolytic separator to process the brine into sodium and chlorine. Then we combine the chlorine or chlorine with hydrogen in a chemical infuser to make hydrogen chloride the hydrogen chloride is pumped into a chemical injection chamber with our ores to produce four ore shards per ore these shards go into our existing triple ore processing setup to be made into ingots okay i had started making some of these but i didn't finish electrolytic separator did i make that oh let's open these before i forget 
Um, um, oh, oh, there's gas and gas and fluid. Yeah, not don't really need those. More acceleration cards and empty gas tank and empty fluid tank and their ultimate ones. Okay, not bad. Those are handy. Let's put the gas and the fluid we'll probably need. Do these not stank? Stank? Do these not stack? All right. Um, put that basic mechanical pipe. We want that. Thermal evaporation blocks. We could probably go up another tier or so because we have enough. Advanced thermodynamic conductor. Capable of transferring heat. Okay, if we wanted to connect up the resistive heater to our thing. Okay. But I think we're okay. We don't need to we don't need to make it end we don't need to make it too fancy. Okay, put those away. And we got those. Right, so the first one was the elite electro electrolytic separator. No, I didn't make it, I just made sure that we had everything. So I made the electrolytic core, which is enriched alloy, osmium dust, gold dust, and iron dust. And I'm pretty sure we made some already for something else. Put those together, that's the separator. And then the chemical infuser. Uh, chemical infuser. The chemical injection chamber. I'm pretty sure we have. Chem. No, we don't. Chem. Okay. Chemical injection chamber. Right. Because I went and I went ahead and made the purification chamber. Okay, purification. Didn't I make the... I'm pretty sure I did. Or maybe it was the enrichment chamber. Yes, I made the enrichment chamber. And that makes the purification chamber. And then... Um... All right, so we have... All right, we want the chemical injection chamber. That's purification. And that goes in there, right. And the chemical infuser. All right, chemical infuser. Okay, that has everything we need. All right, so we've got quadruple ingots. All right, anything of interest? Oh, nice. Reinforced alloy and elite control circuits. Very nice. Maybe the loot table is adapting to how far along you are in the pack, which is good. After that, sulfuric acid, master processor. Okay, moving up from four ingots to five ingots per pour, per, per ore? Per, I can't read. Per ore is a rather involved process that starts with the production of sulfuric acid. We'd need of, we'll need a supply of gunpowder for this process as sulfur is extracted from gunpowder. Gunpowder can be crafted by placing gravel in a purification chamber with oxygen to create flint and then crushing the flint into gunpowder. Insert your gunpowder with hydrogen chloride with a chemical injection chamber to make sulfur. Process the sulfur in the chemical oxidizer to make sulfur dioxide and combine that with oxygen in a chemical confusion to make sulfur trioxide. Create water vapor, oh good grief, with a rotary con 
condensentrator supplied with water and then combine sulfur trioxide with the water vapor in a chemical infuser to, to produce sulfuric acid. Wow. Okay. Not today. <laughs> Uh, what's that? The fanciest energy storage. Oh yeah, that we will look at at some point. So should we set this up? I don't know if it's worth setting it up right now. Because... Oh. The thing is, I'm quite... I don't want to do all quadrupling. It's it's quite fine how it is. I'm quite happy with how stuff is. Because we're getting quite a lot of stuff. Is that this? Let's go check on our, 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 our digital miner. And also, we will be getting more stuff than we need soon. Or more stuff than we can shake a stick at. Because we will have the... um, Like I said, it's got the environmental thing. I can't remember what it is. Environmental tech and the miners. Is this not working? Oh, it stopped. Okay. So then we're going to have to move the miner and go someplace else to get stuff. But that's fine. I don't think we'd, we need to bother with that. Because we can go on to environmental tech and use those miners instead. Because that miner is bringing up stuff on the ground. With environmental tech, it brings up ores. I'm not sure where it produces the ores from, but it brings them up. You do need to have clear sight down to bedrock. So it needs line of sight down to bedrock. But it will... um. Yeah, it's a it's a very interesting mod. So um, yeah, I don't um, I'll make the stuff to produce the ores, but I don't know if I'll actually put it down because I mean we made the stuff to to make triple ore or ingots, and I I'm not really using it. So it's there. We've made it, but I don't. I don't need it if you yeah I feel like I'm I feel like I'm not explaining myself correctly but I mean we made all the stuff we did all the upgrades and so on but then we're not really using it so it's more for the experience of making it and seeing how you put it all together rather than actually putting it to good use so so yeah i will i i'll make this stuff but i might not might not use it um assembly for cater that's not what it's called the only thing that i that we really need with um with mechanism is the power production that is the really cool thing because we will need the power for environmental tech i kind of want to start it but then it's kind of like i also want to try and finish mechanism so um so yeah i'm in two minds about that because i do like the whole oh it's shiny it's new let's do it but then i should really finish off oh i don't know I keep pressing the wrong key. That's not a thing. Um, okay. Because it just wants the tier one, tier one stuff. And then if we make that, is that going to... What is phenomenal cosmic power, though? I don't know what that is. Will that open up this this tab? Because we finished this one totally. Oh, the MV exchanges. What do we need for that? Um, oh, we needed the... Oh, okay. 
I would have to go in and make those. Those I can do. Okay, because I was just about to say, I don't think we've actually finished any tabs. We finished the getting started tang tab. We didn't finish this either. But I was getting kind of bored with it. <laughs> um, These we couldn't finish because... Why? Why couldn't I finish this one? Uh, 10, 24k. Emmy, 10... 24k I don't know why I didn't finish it or maybe it's because I needed glowstone ingots and I didn't have them at the time that's the only thing I could think of that is the only thing I could think of okay well then I can make those offline as well those we can make and what do you get for that 1632 okay uh fluid access it was just to make the fluid terminals and the gas access to make the gas terminals but we we don't really want to store fluid and gas so i mean it's the same as making the other terminals so i don't see what's the point of doing it to be honest the wireless access you need um you need a singularity thing because I was looking at it. It's like okay, we're a little bit, a little bit deeper in mechanism, um, wireless. A little bit deeper in mechanism. We can probably make what we need. It was this one, the quantum entangled singularity, and you need to drop one singularity and one ender dust, and cause an explosion. I was thinking, okay, we could do that, but then. Um, the singularity um you put it in the matter condenser and i couldn't for whatever oh hold on 64 yeah i made two but then um i couldn't get the i made the matter condenser hooked up to the energy cell and it didn't want to work or maybe I need to put the oh maybe I need to put the smart cable on it didn't think about that all right let's have a look smart see I'm glad I'm here talking to you guys because it didn't occur to me earlier when I was trying to do it uh, matter and 64k 64k all right um now that's not what we want not there but all right where is the matter condenser No, it still hasn't. Because if I put that in there, it doesn't stack and it's not getting any power. So I don't know exactly how it works. I really don't know how it works. If I put this on top here, yeah, it's not connecting. So I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. So there's that. So that isn't happening anytime soon. Um, so yeah, so that is, that tab's done pretty much for now. Overcome your enemies, that's all the woot stuff and I have no desire to get into that. That was enough just to get the first tier. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, if you're playing the pack and you want to do it, that's fine. But I am not doing that. I can show you the world. We finished that one. Mechanical upgrades. We are working our way through that. Um, the next one is environmental tech. 
So at least let's make the assemb the assem assemblier assembler. I think that's what it's called. And then let's see if that opens up anything. Uh, SM. Okay. Search at Valkyrie Lib Digital Guide in JEI for the game guide. Okay. We need to do that. We need two bits of obsidian and litharite crystal. Oh, we had litharite crystal. I don't know where we got that from, but we had it. But yeah. At Valkyrie Lib Digital Guide. At Valkyrie. That's it. And how do you make that? A book and another litharite crystal. We don't have any books and we don't have any more litharite crystals. Oh, never mind. I know, but we need... How do you get litharite crystals? Okay, we can make it. All right, that works. Do we not have any books? Have I used up all the books? I can't believe I've used up all the books. Um, a book and a crystal. That gives us the digital guide. And that is pretty, pretty nifty. Okay, so it tells you about the assembler. It tells you about the modifiers. Lightning rods, the ore miners, the botanic miners. So you can get, you can get ores from it. And it uh, mines ores from the void. Uh, from the void. Then you can get um, resource miners, so they get resources from the void. Resources, so what does it tell you what it gets? And they have six tiers. Each tier is progressively more expensive, but also each tier gets you more stuff as well. So there's some things that you can get on tier six that you're not going to get on any of the previous tiers. Um, doesn't tell you what it gets. And then the botanic miners bring up um, these item and blocks are usually from nature or can be grown. Okay, resources are typically found in world gen or used to create other decorative blocks. And the ores, well obviously it's just ores. But it tells you exactly what you need for each tier. You use this, the assemb assembler, to assemble it. You have to make sure that there's enough space to assemble it. Otherwise, um, it won't work. I've I've used it in other packs where you're standing there, you right click on it, and it's like it's not working. Why is it not working? And then you realise because there's a block in the way or something. So it can be a bit fiddly, but once it works, it works well, right? And um, so yeah. So I think what we could do is take a little. Am I going to get stuck now? Right. Take a bit of a break from mechanism. Make a start with um, with environmental tech. There you go. Tier one. Oh, it wants us to make tier one of everything, and then tier two of everything. Then it's probably going to go all the way down to tier six. Okay. So. In mechanism, then, what we do need to do, there is that fancy uh, mechanism upgrades. The fancy energy storage. We need to work on that and get that going. And then we can hook up our, um, our environmental tech stuff to that. So I think that's going to be the plan, then. Doing this, the induction matrix... And then going into environmental tech, and then we can come we can come back to mechanism, but like I said i I'll probably make these to to quad well we've done the one to quadruple to to get five times our ore, but I don't know if I actually want to use it, but we'll make it, so that's fine. And then hopefully we can open up phenom phenomenal cosmic power and I can find out what that is because that's bugging me. I don't know what it is. So, and hopefully that might be 
We might be getting towards the end of the pack. I think we... Well, then again, I thought Mechanical Upgrades was the last, and then these opened up. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Claim our loot chest. And let's open it. Uh, gas and fluid storage upgrades. Okay. Again, not so... Not so brilliant, but it's fine. It's a pity you can't convert them into the normal ones. <coughs> because then, you know, I'd be making drives for days. But there you go. So, um, so yeah. So that's it for this week. We ha It feels like we haven't done a lot, but we have. Because we've opened up another tab so um so yeah thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye